Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of my Manchester United career on FIFA 15. We are playing Blackburn Rovers in the FA Cup. It's been such a long time since I've seen this fixture. Blackburn against United. Anyway, my starting lineup, I've got Linda Garda in goal. Phil Jones starts at the back with Tyler Black at Small in Rojo. Cleverly and Blind in midfield. Valencia and Young on the flanks and Mata and Wilson through the middle. Back in the day, Blackburn, they used to be such a formidable team. They've even won the Premier League quite a few times in the past. And I know uh, Alan Shearer made his move from Blackburn to Newcastle for what at the time was a transfer record fee of 15 million. To think that Di Maria joined United recently for, what was it, 60 million? Wow, outrageous. I always remember that game against Blackburn. Uh, United played against them in 2005, where Rio got sent off and we lost 5-3, something like that to them. They were such a bogey team. Oh no, they're passing it around so nicely at the moment, Blackburn. Keeping it down this uh, left-hand side. I thought they were going to take it to the corner flag there, Conway. So early on into the second half, he looked to whip it in. Well done, Valencia. Keep that in. Nicely done. I need to go and find that first goal because I was wasting too much time in the first half. Oh, that's a good through ball pass for Mata. He's not going to get to it, though, because Robinson is. I was looking at the Championship League table the other day and saw that Blackburn were in seventh. They're not doing too bad. Could we see Blackburn back in the Premier League come the end of the season? What do you guys think? This is just getting silly now. It's, we haven't even scored against them. They're defending so well. Blackburn. Maybe they're looking for a replay to make their return to Old Trafford. Mata. Yes. Yes. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think that replay is going to happen here in the FA Cup as Matter has just put an end to that. Their dreams of returning to Old Trafford. There we go. The deadlock has been broken. Let's make it two now. We might be able to make it two. Valencia. Van Persie. Come on, son. No one's closing him down. Oh, good save by Robinson. Van Persie again. You know what? I'm going to go for a finesse shot on the left foot. Oh, it's gone in! Oh, fabulous! Absolutely fantastic. That's Robin Van Persie for you. He's such a beast when it comes to finesse shots on the left foot. Wow. Let's see that in the replay. There was definitely curl on that ball. Pass Robinson. I tried it a bit earlier on, but Robinson saved. This time he didn't. Oh, what a fantastic goal. Come on, ref. Just finish the game. It's all over for Blackburn. They're not advancing through to the next round. Manchester United are. Lingard. Could we make it three over the top for Mata? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We do make it three. And we do book our place in the next round of the FA Cup. Second goal for Mata as well. He's been on fire. Final score, 3-0. Goodbye, Blackburn. Hello, next round for Manchester United. There's just 10 hours remaining of the transfer window here in January. I've already signed it, Kevin Strootman, and I'm looking to sign one more player. I have made an inquiry for Berardi, Bonaventura, and also Andre Poli because I know my midfield, it needs strengthening big time. So I'm going to put in an offer for Berardi. Let's, let's say they're asking for 2.2 mil. I'm going to go and say 1.5 mil. Let's see if uh, Juventus accept that. Such a good young talent. Here we go. So we're going down with just nine hours to go. And Juventus have... Oh, wow. They've put a price tag of 16.5 mil. But they, they were asking for 2.2. So you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna offer 2.2. Let's see what they say. Oh, here we go. Eight hours left. Oh, the countdown is on. We've got a transfer offer for Jesse Lingard. But Juventus have accepted my offer of 2.2. They were being cheeky, weren't they? Wanting 16.5 for him. I'm going to send Lingard to Norwich, though, on a season-long loan. He needs it. He's not getting too much first-team football at the moment at United. And I'm going to offer Berardi a contract here. He's wanting 60 grand a week. I need to go across to my finances here. This isn't going to look too great. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Let's just nudge that across, keeping in mind that I put in a bid of 2.2. So I think if we keep going, we should be okay. Don't want to breach that. There we go. That should be enough. Let's go back to the contract offer. Where is he? There he is. Oh, look at my remaining wage budget. Just 61 quid 
dear, oh dear. And I'm going to set that to uh, squad rotation player. Let's see if Berardi is joining United. Just seven hours to go. Come on, let's hear from Berardi. Is he joining Manchester United? He is. It was too good of an offer. He wants to join Manchester United. So United have bagged a bargain. One for the future in Berardi from Juventus. He is a bit of a bad um, in real life. He likes to get himself sent off. But this is this is just a game. Obviously, I'm not going to be going out there and trying to get him a red card every, uh, every match that I play. I think this is a good capture, though, for United. He's at the age of 21 right now. His overall rating is 77. Obviously, loads of room for him to improve. He's fast, he's strong, and he's got an awesome finesse shot on him. So I can't wait for him to debut for Manchester United. Good signing, I think. Let's have a look at some of the other transfer news. Let's see what's going on around the ground. Sunderland seal 10.5 million deal for Verdun Kaluka. Uh, Fabregas is set for Juventus move. Wow. Chelsea are letting him go. Borussia Dortmund's Hummels linked to Barcelona. I'm not sure whether he'll move. Manchester United bag bargain. We've already seen that. Fans concern over Peyton. Yes, it hasn't been the best of times recently for United fans. We have uh, lost a few games, a few important games as well. Hopefully that improves. Before I go any further, I just want to have a look at the kit numbers, especially for Berardi, my new sign-in. I wonder what the default number that they've given him. What's it going to be? Where is he? It's right at the bottom. Number number 14? Oh, that's not too bad for a wing guy. I'll stick with that for the time being. For our next game, we are at the Hawthorns to play the Baggers, West Bromwich Albion. We have already beaten them earlier this season back at Old Trafford, but it was a very, very close game and they created so many decent chances, West Brom. So we're going to have to be on our guard for that here at the Hawthorns. So let's have a look at United's starting lineup then. See who I've gone with. So De Gea in goal. Raphael Jones, Marquinhos, Short. Strootman starts for Manchester United. So does Rooney, Herrera, Di Maria, Falcao, and Ronaldo. And Berardi, new signer from Juventus, starts on the bench. Ready for me to bring him on. Yes, Di Maria. Yes, he. you can beat him. Beat your man. He's never going to catch up with you, surely. Just try and cut inside. Go for a, a low pass for Falcao. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone in. It's 1-0 to United. 10 minutes gone of the game. United already 1-0 up. That's a fantastic start. What a brilliant run from Di Maria, though. Losing his man. And what an angle from Falcao. Just pure class from Falcao. Managing to score a goal like that. Unbelievable. Oh, no. They're going to make, make it 1-1. They was looking for the far post. There was someone on it as well. West Brom looking to get back in this game. Jacob. Gardner, Jacob again, poor, poor shot, sure, Ronaldo, nice little flick there, we still got it, still got it, that's that's okay, Marquinhos, really settled in at United now, Marquinhos, really happy, this is good passing, very good passing, could be on for a second here, Strootman with the shot, oh dear, and I want to make it 2-0 before half time, if possible. Raphael, whip that in, son. Falcao, off oh, the crossbar. I thought it was going to be second goal of the game. Jacob, or Jakob. Oh, no, Cessanon. A day. Cessanon again. Good save by De Gea, but he couldn't hold on to it. And Gardner turns it into the back of the net. Oh, dear, Raphael needs to be waking up in a situation like that. It's moments like that that can win you games. Looking very lively there, Gardner. Raphael really needs to be doing better. So probably going to get a few minutes or a few seconds before the ref blows the whistle for the second half. Go for a last gas then with Ronaldo. Here we go. I'll go for a shot. Oh, <laughs> no way. It has gone in. It is two on to United. Talk about pegging West Brom back just before half time. As soon as they scored that equaliser, Ronaldo pulls that out the bag. And I even got a trophy for it. Knuckle ball. What a finish. That is definitely a goal of the season candidate. I mean, just look at that. 25, 30 yards outside the box. Fires it up into the top right hand corner. Such power behind it. And the ball wasn't even moving mid air. Amazing. That first half was just amazing for United, especially that goal by Ronaldo. And 
Here we are with Di Maria now, beating Pock and Ollie once again. Probably pronounced his name wrong. He's had such a hard time against Di Maria, and we make it 3 1. A very good run. How I managed to keep my concentration there, I don't know, but wow. 3 1 to United, and there's still plenty of time left in this game to grab a couple more. Let's do it. Come on, Raphael. Oh, good challenge, and that's going to go out for a throw. It's not a corner, even though it kind of looked like it. And so I'll be able to make my subs now. So off goes Di Maria after a fantastic game. He even got himself on the score sheet. And he will be replaced by Berardi. We will see Berardi for the first time in a Manchester United jersey here at the Hawthorns. There he is. Why he's wearing gloves on this glorious sunny day, I just don't know why. Come on. Where's... Uh, have to give the ball to Berardi here. There's only space down the left side at the moment. Here we go. There's an opening. Oh, come on, Strootman. Just trying to find Berardi. Oh. Oh, wow. Strootman on a good run here. Oh, good save by Davis. Rooney with the finish. Oh, another good save. Here we go. Let's release Ronaldo down the left side. Yes. There is loads of space, which they really can't afford to be given away. I'm going to go for a shot. Let's see if we could get Ronaldo's second goal. Oh, what a save by Davis. Oh, Bar there's a penalty. Penalty with just seconds to go of the game. And it's none other than Berardi that wins it. It's Morrison that concedes it for West Brom, who's only really just come on as a sub for West Brom. Oh, wow, what a penalty. He just barges into him. What was he thinking? Seriously, and it's going to be none other than Cristiano Ronaldo, definitely, to take this. I know he's got short sleeves again, but there must be a glitch because I have tried switching it back to uh, long sleeves. But anyway, here we go. Let's make it 4-1 to United. Oh, yes, it's gone in. 4-1 to United. That's the game right there. Davis did get a slight touch to it, but he deflected it into the back of the net. And that's Ronaldo's second goal of the game. That'll be the final score as well. Good game all around. Certainly picked up Manchester United and their fans after such a horrible time against Arsenal in both of those fixtures in the Capital One Cup. And uh, with that, guys, I'm going to end it there for this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all very soon for the next one.